Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. <clears throat> Officially, this is episode 979, the countdown continues, and today I'll talk about integrity. Um, no reason, just thought I'd talk about integrity. <laughs> and we're going to talk about this in terms of relationships and about living life from an integr integral place. You can take your own um, interpretations from this and you can apply it to anything you wish. If it's in the media, the news, etc. I'm not touching that. I'm leaving that one alone because I don't want to get any political stuff in my talks. It's not my thing. It's not my soapbox. Put it that way. <laughs> so, so interesting. All right. So jumping in, integrity. First of all, there's an interesting... I always love the fact that integ integrity has a few other um, spokes of shoots. Like integrated, integral. Um, there's another one. It will come back to me. Anyway, so integ integrity has a lot of spokes, meaning that there's a lot of um, components to being an, in, an integrated person. And the thing about integrity, I slipped the elements. Yeah, I did say integrated. Okay. The thing about integrity is it's something that we can maintain we can also get back if we lose it and there's some things we can do that do lose integrity let me start with those because that's what's on my mind right now and probably on yours too um but you know no let me let me play and um, gee sorry i just thought something else let me see how i do this one integrity for me is when you're in alignment with who you really are and I was actually do something. I gotta say something. I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say. It. Okay. So if somebody does something abhorrent, bad, wrong, violating somebody else's space, but they're in integrity with that because of who they are. That's actually an integrity, and that's not. I was nasty. I, sorry, I didn't plan on this one. I didn't know it was going to come out that way. It's the way it came out. But the thing about integrity is, with integrity, you get to know who somebody really is. Integrity, basically, in some ways, is being aligned with who you really are. And on the human level, integrity is not about being good or bad. It's about being aligned to who you really are. So you understand this thing. It's a key thing to get. The thing that's being out of integrity is actually being out of alignment with who you really are as a human being. It does not mean that what you're doing is good or bad, right or wrong. But being in alignment to that, being in alignment to your true self, to be aligned to your integrity, means that what you're doing fits who you are in some ways. Now... I mean, I'm, as you can probably tell, I'm not teaching from a place of, uh, okay, I know all the answer to this because it just came through the way it did. But I want to make sure that you understand for yourself, particularly, hopefully, if you wish, that being in integrity with yourself means you know that whatever you do is in alignment. There's no need to make excuses. The biggest thing about integrity for me is understanding is that when I'm in my integrity, there's nothing to explain, nothing to defend, nothing to protect. Nothing to um, talk about because it's already there. But again, as I said at the beginning, surprising myself in saying it, is if a lot of people integrity isn't necessarily doing the right thing. For some people, they're all t they're all, their alignment to who they really are is doing the wrong thing, which is really challenging to deal with, just to be clear. I'm, just, I'm trying to deal with it myself as I said this. So you may have people in your life who are not the most kind, compassionate, caring, wonderful people. Yet, at the same time, there might be an integrity. Even those people who are being, I gotta say it, narcissistic, sociopathic, or other sorts of aberrations, in terms of the psychological profiling, they may be an in integrity with that, who they really are. So, I'm realizing I may have, I may have, I'm, Maybe I should title this differently, I'm not sure, but let me keep going anyway. So let me start with you watching this, because you're the person who's watching this. Nobody else is, if that makes sense. Being in integrity is an opportunity to be aligned to your values. So let's cut deeper with that. What are your values? Do you believe there's good in everyone? Do you believe there's bad in everyone? Do you believe there's no good in anyone? That's where you can start gauging what your own integrity is about. Because how you view the world authentically is where integrity stands for you so I talked earlier about how there's different 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 uh, spokes off of integrity including integral and integrated understanding that when you're integrated 
It's no longer having disparate perspectives, different feelings. You're actually aligned to who your values are. Excuse me a second. There's something trying to come through and it keeps, it keeps getting diverted inside. So, all right. I'm going to keep talking, but there's something that's trying to come through to explain this in more detail because I don't have it here. It's something deeper, higher, whatever that is. So when it comes out, it'll make sense because <laughs> I'm not sure where this is going to go yet. This is not a talk I plan on going very far with. I just wanted to talk about integrity um, and avoiding the political scene at the same time. There's, I don't, I'm not going, okay, I'm not going to go there. I want to keep this one clean because I want to talk about this as I want to okay let me put in this relationship context please because this, this is where I'm going I'm realizing I'm, I'm so tempted to go places I don't want to go <laughs> but I want to say integrity with what I want to say that's that's true okay <laughs> there demonstration of integrity for you in a strange sort of way so in relationships blaming someone for doing what they're doing that isn't what you want isn't necessarily something where they have integrity it's when you know who they really are and they know who they really are but they're not doing what aligns to that. Now, this is the challenge of integrity, and in one way it's about being real, because in a lot of ways of being integrity is being real, is sometimes you're around people who will push your buttons while being in integrity. There are people who will make your life challenging, miserable even, but they're still in integrity. The recognition is, though, if your integrity is strong, you will remove yourself from the situations. See, the thing about it is, if everybody's integrity does not mean we're all going to get along. Let me be clear about that. In fact, if everyone's in integrity, everyone's going to be different, most likely, in what they believe, what they follow, what they will express, how they believe. So let me speak on a global political sense for a moment. <laughs> Since I didn't want to go down that path too far. There are people who believe one view, which could be, say, say left-wing, and there's another group of people who believe a right-wing view, for example. I'm, getting, I'm not going to get political about this. I'm just explaining the differences. Both can be in integrity if they really are aligned to the values of that. If what they believe in is actually believe is actually aligned to who they really are. So understanding that people have no integrity is not necessarily accurate for you. Because if somebody has a different perspective on life than you do, they may be in integrity, just not the same as yours. But here's the thing. When you are in integrity with yourself, you will tend to find yourself being around people who match you and away from people who don't match you, simply put. But the biggest part of integrity is to start speaking your truth. When you're aligned to your in into integrity and really owning who you are, then your truth becomes, um, I would say, top of mind, but most aligned to who you really are. And it's really understanding this perspective that can shift everything. I mean, actually, the reason why this word is up for me as well, besides what's been happening in the media the last couple of weeks is I've been putting, I've been looking at keywords for what, what I'm present, what's coming up in uh, February, later in February. I talked about this yesterday briefly. I'm not talk about it more because I don't want to, don't want to goose the chicken, so to speak. <laughs> I don't want to goose the, um, I just want to goose the chicken. It's an interesting quote I didn't know coming from. I didn't want to spill the beans. That's a better way of saying it just yet. But I was looking at different keywords and integ integ integrity came up as a keyword because realizing for us more and more in our own relationships, personal relationships, Having integrity is something a lot of people give up for the other person. And we do it because we somehow think we've got to please them more than we please ourselves. And it's a mistaken approach. Here we go. Okay, that's the piece of wood. Sorry, just a little, little, little chill for that one. It's like that. Now I'm speaking. Now I know where I'm going with this one. All right. So I did some talks over the weekend, which this is Wednesday, by the way, in case you're backtracking to my broadcast before, um, about reaction versus response about taking ownership of your values being integrity in relationship sorry maybe slide back again reaction versus response is also about codependency i mentioned you have to watch this broadcast to, explain, to understand what i explained that was saturday and friday i think i talked about that so today they're talking about inte inte integrity the same idea comes true which is if you're not staying true to your integrity for the sake of somebody else you're actually entering into a codependent relationship or you're expressing a codependent relationship, or you're dancing in one, or you're being in one, or you're giving yourself up for one. That's not healthy. Being in integrity to own who you really are, to stand in your truth, to express who you really are all the time. When you're in that place and you attract a relationship, and that relationship will, it won't change who you are. In simple terms, Owning your power, owning your authority, owning your... 
can say this another way. Owning your integrity, expressing your truth, being aligned to who you are, speaking from your truth, means that anybody who meets you and connects with you will find themselves really either <laughs> appreciating who you are or running running the effort the opposite direction. <laughs> this <is> something else. <laughs> Keeping this clean. So the thing I want to speak to really simply is if you're single at the moment, do you stay in your integrity when you meet somebody new? Or do you leave your integrity at home and then go out the world and, and try to please somebody else or try and get pleased from somebody else without being aligned to your true values? One of the, one of the things I talk about, well, excuse me, one of the things I've expressed in my life more and more, especially when I'm dating, is I will not go into a date, excuse me, I will not continue a date or a relationship if it's, not, if it's out of integrity. It's a sim it sounds so simple, but so many people do it because they're not really clear about who they really are. Integrity requires you knowing who you are first because your integrity is based upon what your beliefs, your values, and your truth is. And if you don't have clarity on that, then how can you be in integrity? It's like driving without touching the steering wheel. It's going to be a random guess. So it's important to understand your values define who you are and knowing your values defines your integrity because you know then what your choices are based upon that. And you also know if you violate those values, you're out of integrity. And if you've done that in relationships in the past, you don't have to keep bang, bang, beating yourself up about it because we've all, well, most of us, I won't say all of us, most of us have done that before. But the thing is now is have you learned your lesson? Are you choosing to own integrity in what you do in life, in what you do in love, and what you do in your relationships? When you understand that keeping true to your values, keeping true to your heart, even true to your truth is how you own your integrity, then you know that every relationship must also honor that too. It does raise the bar, absolutely. And it does raise the stakes of what you really want to have in a relationship. And it may require you saying no to relationships you thought you were going to say yes to because they don't honor your integrity. Now, flip the script for a second or flip the coin for a second. That also means that you respect somebody else's integrity as well. You may not have done that in a relationship in the past. Maybe your past relationships you may have steamrolled the other, your partner or ignore what they wanted because they didn't trust them. These are violations of their integrity. So integrity is a core element in relationships, absolutely. And the thing is it requires both partners honoring and owning their own and each other's integrity, truth, and values. Because for me, integrity is largely based on your truth and your values. There's a few other things in there too that haven't come up right now, but that's what's coming up right now. And so when you really own and claim your truth for yourself, you define your values, what you're about, who you are, what's important to you, then you know what is integrity for you when you choose a relationship. This is a much bigger topic than I expected. This is what's coming up. Okay, so I'm not going to break down too much more of this. I want to just get this, this teaser out there to give you something to think about. So if you're triggered by somebody else, is it their integrity that's threatening you or challenging you or it's just you don't feel like you can stay true to yourself with that person around you. Now, absolutely, there are certain things in the media and in the internet where you might discover that what you're watching is really pulling you out of center. That's a clue that maybe you want to step back into integrity and maybe it's not watching that or reading that or participating in that. Sometimes integrity means saying no. To, in fact, many times integrity requires saying no to certain things. It also requires you saying yes to things that maybe you weren't willing to before. So understand what your, where your, your um, centeredness is, where your beingness is, and where your values are. When you know what those are, choosing any relationship is much easier. Choosing where you play, where you serve, where you work, what you do, is much easier when you own your values. I know I, in the past, I took jobs that were so out of alignment with my integrity because I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what my values were. I didn't know what my truth was. And afterwards, I look back and go, I should never have done that job in the first place but I was perhaps driven by the desire to make money or for the connections I was going to make there. But the truth is, well, actually, no, not the connections. It wasn't that. It was about, about the money or the security I thought I was going to get. It wasn't integrity for me. So integrity plays out in relationships, in business, in so many areas. So knowing what yours is, knowing what your values are, knowing what your truth is, are keys to get to the place of knowing your integrity is who you are. So when you're in life and in love, you know how to express yourself and what you want in a relationship making sense I hope it is this is a um, a teaser of a much bigger topic I realize 
there's a lot to put, not to somewhere. I've already saying no to certain things that inside, just to be clear, so you know what's going on, that don't fit this because there'll be like a two hour conversation. But I want to drop some seeds now to give you something to think about. So consider for yourself where in your life you are in integrity and where in your life you're not. And do some homework, clean that up. One of the anchors I keep talking about so much is self-love because it is such a powerful place for me to recognize that when you love yourself, that brings you back to integrity as well. Because when you love yourself, you don't keep selling yourself out for other things. When you love yourself, you start to discover what's valuable to you, values. You also discover what your truth is because you're not willing to lie when you love yourself. When you really love who you are, the desire to lie goes away. So I'll put the self-love meditation, my guide in the self-love meditation, with my voice guiding you in AMP and meditations in the comments because I recommend you check that out and get that started. Because this is maybe the first step to getting integrity for yourself. I think I made my point for this one. There's more to talk about, I know, and this is just, maybe it's going to be part one of more, I'm not sure yet. But I want to drop the seed now because it was on my mind a lot today. I wonder why. <laughs> All right. Um, I appreciate you watching and thanks for being with me. As always, this is my daily Facebook Live. If you haven't seen my talk before, I do this every day on my personal page on Facebook, seven days a week at 5 p.m. Um, most days. Sometimes it moves, but it's always every day. You can watch me on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays get stored on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, so you can watch them there, although only about two or three hundred are visible there because Facebook doesn't show them all for some reason. But if you watch all of my broadcasts, I recommend you go to my business page, excuse me, my YouTube channel. I was on my business page. Yes, YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where every single one of these talks live. From newest to oldest, you can search through by keywords, by titles, check it wants to speak to you. Again, link in the comments for my self-love meditation because that will help you connect back to your integrity. If you have any questions about this topic, please put them in, in the comments below or message me over social media if you want some help to clarify and understand where you are. And uh, ask yourself the question, what am, what, where am I out of integrity and where am I in integrity? You'll know. And if you don't, I can help you find out what that is. So, take, so really get focused on that because as I always say in my broadcast about taking care of yourself, this is one of those keys to have you have more self-support, self-love, and self-care. You can take care of yourself this way more easily. So uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. This is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned, so I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same channel. And uh, as always, and as a reminder, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>